In our film opening, we have used an action, crime genre which can be shown through blockbusters such as Skyfall and iRobot. We used ideal, crime action conventions such as a typical hero character and a storyline that consists of a hero that has had a tough time and looks up, or needs to look up, to an older, wiser role model character. We use these characters as we felt those are the conventions people would expect from a crime film. In a crime film, the designated partner of the hero is a damsel and is in some way endangered or already hurt and in extreme cases, Spider-Man 2, dead. Just like the ex-cop's wife in our film opening. Our product concentrated on the complicated background sob story of the hero and we incorporated the role model characters to aid the hero in his suffering. During the pre-production planning of the film opening, we looked at similar products such as scenes from Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, which is what gave us ideas for our storyline such as the nightmare scene that we used. The aerial shot in Harry Potter and the lighting used to emphasise the sweat on his neck is something we incorporated into our own film. Comparing our scene to that of the scene in Harry Potter, we have successfully shown the vulnerable and distraught side of our hero to the audience through the use of this nightmare. The idea of the ex-cop and detective conversation originated from iRobot, and the conversation between the chief of police and this free-spirited cop, played by Will Smith. The conversation between them shows the, the chief having a level of care for the cop, but the cop showing attitude, something we have shown and expressed through our com conversation, conversation scene. The hero typical, typically suffers in a lone wolf style, meaning he doesn't want to share his sorrows, rather think long and hard over them with a deep, meaningful frown on his face. We picked up on this in Skyfall, where James Bond is shaving in a bathroom and looking at himself in the mirror. We used a similar shot, having the ex-policeman shot in an over-the-shoulder shot to show his reflection in the mirror, noting loss of identity after giving up his job and losing his wife. However, we further developed this moment of deep thought by adding flashbacks so the audience get an idea of what the hero is thinking of, something we thought would help sharpen the storyline in the film opening. We chose our actor based on his ability to look as serious as possible, something a typical cop or detective role like James Bond or Will Smith playing his cop role are able to do. Not to mention, we needed an appealing actor for the audience consisting of male and female, needing the model to, look, to be good looking to attract females to watch the product, as well as males who would want to put themselves in the hero's shoes to be the main attraction of the females. Our media product represents three main social groups, which are class and status, ethnicity and gender. Class and status is presented in our film opening because of the difference in occupation of the two characters, one of them being an unemployed ex-policeman and the other a detective, Sean, who is shown as a figure of low class. This is shown through the prop we used as he is shown holding an alcohol flask and his clothing as he is dressed in a baggy jumper and trousers and appears scruffy. Also, he is shown to be living in an unmaintained, secluded flat, again portraying lack of class. The detective is, however, shown to wear a smart attire. This is significant because his formal attire ensures his role as a detective is evident through his clothing as he is wearing a long black coat with a shirt and tie under it, connotating power, sophistication and a high status. To convey this to the audience, we used a low angle shot when filming the detective to place him in an inferior and more powerful position compared to the ex-policeman. Ethnicity is presented in our film opening. The detective is a black male, which is the ethnicity we chose to have as the authoritative figure to challenge the stereotype of black males being uneducated and frequently dressed in baggy clothing, a ball cap and flashy jewellery. We, however, challenge this stereotype by dressing him in a smart attire. Stereotypically, in a crime film, we would be familiar with the image of a black male that is a gang member performing violence, which is challenged in our film of ethnicity. Our media product also represents gender, as we have two males playing the main characters, one of them being an ex-policeman and a detective. Common conventions show that an authoritative figure, such as the detective we have in our film opening, should be a male, as this portrays a feeling of dominance, just as James Bond is portrayed in Skyfall. Therefore, we chose a male to play both of these powerful roles rather than a female to meet the stereotype of male roles in a crime film. Our questionnaire results confirm this stereotype 
as it showed the audience wanted to see a male role playing the main character in a crime film, so we had two main characters to, th to play the lead role to meet the stereotypical expectation. However, we still considered drawing female audiences in to gain a bigger audience and to portray a positive representation of gender. By having the story line based around the death of the ex-policeman's wife for which he wants revenge for portraying his love for her we would attract a female audience and also be conveying a positive representation of gender challenging the stereotype of men being aggressive careless and unloving furthermore our storyline portrays the female character's vulnerability as she had been killed and shows the detective act in anger and aggression therefore adding some element of gender stereotype in our film opening to attract a wider audience because this is how males and females are typically seen in everyday life. We believe that Columbia Pictures would be best suited in distributing our media product. This is because they are one of the largest in their field and we would want our film to be distributed by someone of their caliber. They are based in America which is the most powerful country in the film sector. Columbia Pictures have distributed massive films. We believe our film conforms to the criteria of a blockbuster film and therefore if anything below a multinational distribution company was chosen to distribute our film then unfortunately it would underperform as they would not have not only the large finances but the accessibility in making sure our film gets heard in every part of the globe. Furthermore, Columbia Pictures broke the record for the biggest theatrical gross in 2000, 2002 of $1.575 billion. This was due to blockbusters such as Spider-Man. This therefore reiterates their power and strength they obtain when it comes to distributing movies. We require their services as our film has the potential to become one of these great films. Nevertheless, institutions such as Universal Pictures and Warner Brothers could equally distribute the film successfully, as they specialise in detective films whilst Warner Brothers crime films. So they correspond to our genre, although we feel Columbia Pictures were solely responsible in distributing our inspirational films, and therefore we strongly feel they would be best appropriate in this position. The audience of our film opening is a range of people, However, it would mostly be males because the crime genre is a lot more popular amongst a male audience rather than female. This is also evident through our questionnaire results, which show male being the majority audience. Stereotypically, in a crime film, a male character would take on the main role, so we did this as we felt it would be helpful in attracting a male audience to view our product, because a male audience would enjoy a fast-paced film opening with conflict, which is what our film opening offers. However, as well as having crime in our film opening, we also based it around a love story, having the ex-policeman miss his wife, as we believe this would draw in a female audience. Lastly, our questionnaire results shows that our majority age group is between the ages of 12 to 18 years, and so this is the age group we aimed to attract. Lastly, we feel that we would attract a mass audience rather than a niche audience. Our product attracted a mass audience rather than a niche audience because we used big institutions such as Legendary and Columbia Pictures that distribute big blockbuster films to distribute and produce our film opening. We also feel that our storyline would appeal and can relate to a variety of people rather than a particular group, giving us a bigger audience. The age rating of our film opening would be a 12A, as the majority of our audience is aged between 12 to 18 years, shown from our questionnaire results. Our film inspirations, which were Skyfall and The Dark Knight Rises, contained elements of crime and were also rated at a 12A, so we felt this was the correct age rating for our film. Therefore, to achieve a film at a 12A, we decided to keep the violence within our film opening limited, using mostly dialogue throughout to portray the storyline. Also, it was evident from our questionnaire results that the gender that we had to attract was a male audience because the gender that is more likely to prefer to watch a crime film are males rather than females, which is evident from the table. 
Our film opening contains typical conventions of a crime film, which help contribute to the genre, such as conflict between two old friends, which we feel is a storyline that would appeal to a young male audience, as they may feel that the conflict and tension shown is a relatable situation. Also, we attracted our target audience by using conventions of crime that were familiar with our target audience. Therefore, we included conventions such as detective, investigation, murder and conflict. Furthermore, by having two males playing the lead role, we would be enticing our majority audience, which is males, to come and see the film, as well as females that may want to watch the film for the male actors. We aim to keep our storyline biased for it to be suitable for both male and males and females rather than having a male dominated film opening. We still wanted to try and gain a female based audience because our questionnaire did show evidence of having some female audiences so we did this by including a female character that played the role of a wife which we hoped would be a storyline that is going to attract a female audience. Throughout our film, we used a Nikon D7000 camera with 16.2 megapixels which allowed our film to be extremely clear and gave our film a cinematic look. The autofocus system it has gave us an advantage in differentiating the characters from the background and also it forces the reader to look at the frame of the wife and husband to help them understand the storyline. The 3 inch screen was considerably helpful in initi initiating the focus. We also used a Nikkor 50mm camera lens as we were working in low, light, low lighting and this provides bright display of film despite the conditions. Furthermore, we use this as it specialised in HD filming and comes with the fastest manual focus. Although, this lens was difficult to use for specific shots and the camera struggled to stay still. Therefore, we decided to use an AGSDX Nikkor 18 to 55 mm stabilizer lens, preventing vibrations and allowing smooth filming. Its lightweight allowed us to perform the aerial shot from the bed. We decided to use Final Cut Pro to edit our film. This is because it was the best editing software available to us. We used different transitions available and the flashback effects to add a more understanding. More, add more understanding as we constantly switch between the past and the present and this made it clear. Additionally, for emphasis, the dialogue was echoed which gave us a more serious effect and helped the reader see binary opposition between the two characters. Finally, this software allowed us to use exaggerated sounds we couldn't create when filming such as the door slamming just before the title sequence appears. We also kept a consistency in the lighting and when it came to editing we only edited the, the different cuts to ensure we met match on action, shot reverse shot, 180 degree rule and continuity. However, when we began editing our main production, we integrated sound and effects to give our, our film a cinematic feel. We also used creative camera shots such as focus pull and low camera, uh, low, uh, camera angle shots, which is why I feel we have improved improved in our skills throughout this process. Evidently, mise-en-scene was not considered, although character costumes was vital when it came to our film opening as it helps audiences differentiate between the different characters. Props were also key in depicting the character's personality as the alcohol flask could suggest to the reader that he may have been an alcoholic, or the focus pool on the frame of his wife may propose she has importance, in this case even dead which causes the reader to link the two and that his depression from missing his wife is causing him to drink and therefore props were vital for us, which couldn't have been considered greatly in the prelim task. When compared with our prelim task, our film opening is much more advanced and contains favourable storyline, which is much more deeper than the one we use for our prelim task to help us prepare for our f final film opening. Lastly, we had much more freedom when it came to our final piece as in the prelim task we had to be in a specific location, have specific number of characters and also the props were unchangeable. However, in our film opening we had much more freedom in the production of it as we selected the genre, sound and costumes of our film. Having a specific